So, you suck at Rocket League and can't score goals. Well, don't worry, so do I. But luckily, I've come up with three easy techniques you can use to score goals in your next match. Now, these techniques are what I found to be the easiest and most consistent way to score a goal in Rocket League. But this doesn't guarantee you're gonna score every time. But the next time you're in one of these scenarios, you'll know exactly what mechanic to use to get the best possibility of scoring a goal. Now, they won't be flashy or worthy enough to post on Reddit for five upvotes, but if you get these techniques down, I promise you'll score more often and win more games. Now, if you're looking to rank up quickly and finally reach that sexy champ rank, check out rocketchamp.com where they offer a two-week training course that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to rank up as quickly as possible. And this isn't some shitty video telling you how to fast aerial. This is a complete training program that gives you new techniques and trainings over a span of two weeks with 24 seven support and a private discord group full of other students. And best of all, it's a proven system with over 60 students that have all gotten amazing results. And right now they're offering a free introduction course that teaches you how to deal with bad teammates. And I know every single one of you has dealt with some shitty teammates before. So go check it out. Just click the link in the description. I promise it'll help you. And if it doesn't, I'll personally mail you a puppy. Okay, not really, but go check it out. It's amazing. Anyways, let's get into these three easy ways to score goals in Rocket League. So the first way to score is what I like to call the side swipe. I first started using this technique after watching Squishy Muffins play ones against Scrub Killa and getting insanely powerful shots with almost no speed. And that's simply by using the side swipe. This shot is similar to doing a normal power shot, but instead, you'll be doing it while turning and using a side flip instead of a forward flip. And you can use this while bounce dribbling if you're at a weird angle or simply want more power from your power shots. Now, how does it work? Well, what a side swipe does is transfer the momentum of your turning car into the ball, which adds even more power than a normal power shot. And if you wanna get technical, all you need to do is plug the amount of boost you have into the quadratic equation, divide that by the number of opponents, add 69, and that's the speed your ball will go. See, it's simple. The only thing is, it is hard to be accurate with this type of shot, but even if you don't get it on goal, that's totally fine, because you're gonna catch your opponents off guard with the amount of power you get from this. And catching them off guard means that you or your teammates are more likely to score a goal off of that shot. But the kicker here is once you get good at these and you can be accurate with them, they're literally unstoppable. Unless you're going up against Scrub Killa, then good luck. I've also left a training pack down below in the description where you can practice this shot and the rest of the shots in this lesson. All you have to do is drive parallel to the ball and turn so that you hit the ball as soon as it bounces. And remember, don't front flip into it. Use a side flip going the same direction that you're turning. So here I'm turning to the left and I'm gonna side flip to the left as soon as the ball bounces. And I know what you're thinking. But I want the ball to go forward, not to the side, so why would I side flip? Just remember the equation, it's simple. The quadratic formula, plus or minus the square root of your boost. It's that simple. So the second way to score is called the bounce boomer. This is a really common scenario for myself and everybody else I've shared this tip with. So when the ball rolls onto the wall while you're trailing right behind it, Many people would take this time to go for a ceiling shot or an air dribble or just smack it to the opponent's goal. But what I'm going to show you is a great way to catch your opponent off guard and score pretty consistently. So you're going to let the ball roll up on its own, 
then come from the top and softly hit it down so it comes off the wall and goes to bounce on the ground. And as soon as you hit it, you're gonna keep driving down the wall and power shot the ball on the first bounce. Now the timing can be a little difficult to get down, so you definitely wanna practice this shot in the same training pack I've left down below. And when you power shot, you can even use the side swipe technique to get an extra bit of power into your shot. And I promise, if you spend a day practicing this shot and getting it down, you'll find yourself in this scenario all the time. And you can score pretty consistently using this technique. Yeah, the first few times you'll likely whiff the power shot and lose possession, but once you score using this, you'll be unstoppable. Well, until everyone sees this video and starts using this technique. But for now, you get to use this secret tactic before everybody else. Because you are special. Alright, so this last technique is especially useful if you suck. Yeah, so I use it all the time. But it's most effective in ones and twos when you get a dribbling opportunity. Now I will say this doesn't work as often once you reach champ and above, but anything below that, it works almost every time if you do it right. So when you get into a dribbling scenario, most of you will try and dribble the ball on top of your car and then go for a flick or something else that's fancy. And many of you will lose control and the ball will roll in front of you off the top of your car. But that's okay, and when that happens, you can use this technique. So when the ball is rolling in front of you, and the defender is just sitting in goal waiting for your move, you're gonna surprise them with not a dribble, but a simple rolling shot. And the secret to this is side flipping and using the top corner of your car. So you're gonna let the ball roll, and as soon as you see the defender move to go challenge you, you're gonna hit the ball from the side using a side flip and roll it to the far end of the goal. This might sound a bit tricky, but it's a lot easier than you think. All you have to do is practice this same shot so you get comfortable with the mechanic. And you can practice this shot in the training pack down below. You can use this as part of your dribble or just as a backup in case you mess up a dribble on top of your car. But this is very effective, so I would just get used to using this all the time. You just let the ball roll, you can even do a couple fakes, but as soon as you see them come forward and attack or challenge, that's when you hit them with a side flip into the left or right corner of the goal. Just be careful with this technique because it's extremely satisfying to score with. Just seeing the ball roll right past the defender, go into the goal, there's nothing they can do about it because it's just going too fast so satisfying it's almost like almost like crack i mean uh not that i've done crack i'm just i'm just guessing that's what it that's what it feels like <laughs> anyways let's go through a quick run through of the training pack and i'll show you exactly what to do all right so first shot you just want to drive forward and then at the last second you're going to turn in and then you're going to do your power shot and your side swipe. So all of this at the same time turning and then side flipping. And once you get good at that, you can turn quicker and you'll have more control and accuracy over it. All right, so next shot, you're gonna let it go up. Don't go for that air dribble, I know it's hard. But you're gonna let it go up, bounce down, and simply do your side swipe. To start out, you can just go for a front flip that might be easier and then with time you can start using your side flips to get more power so for this last one try and wait till the last minute you can touch it a little bit and then go for the corner shot the more you wait the more you'll fake out your defender and it'll be easier to bait the shot so just go ahead and try this a few times you can touch it fake a little bit but then always use that corner and go to the left side of the goal. Anyways, go out there and try these techniques for yourself because they're super fun and you'll definitely score some goals with it. Just remember to practice them first in the training pack or else this is all useless. So get off this video after leaving a like, of course. Put in the code for this training pack and 
practice these shots because if you don't do them, nothing will happen and you won't score goals. But if you do practice, you're going to have a lot of fun and I guarantee you'll score with some of these techniques. So go out there and have fun.